So there is a way to to work with um, WordPress <coughs> virtually. You can set up WordPress on a virtual server using free software called WAMP for Windows or MAMP for Mac you can create a, um, a virtual site that's not on the real internet it is it is a little bit of a techie subject but we'll we'll go to it together um, and we'll see how we can set that up so that you can practice this at home for Thursday and like I said if you um, if you the more you learn the better because then if you can do this on a virtual server then when you do this for real you'll uh, you'll be on a better footing so in general here's the steps in general then we'll do it specifically uh, download and install WAMP access HTTP localhost notice there's no dot com or anything like that access localhost.com or just localhost access localhost in your web browser create a database for your site install WordPress in the database and then use WordPress now I'm simplifying it a lot right here and we'll do the steps together in a moment uh, but those five or so steps in general are a way to to create um, a virtual website y you will only be able to access this website from the computer you created it I won't be able to see your website you won't be able to see mine it's tied to the particular computer your particular local computer the one that you're at on these computers we already have this WAMP software installed. At home, you'd have to go to the website, and you know I don't have the, the link handy, but obviously you can just look it up. Download WAMP. You can even misspell it. And um, you'll have a way to download it. So don't download it. It's already on these computers. Do you see on the desktop, if you minimize your windows, you have an icon there called WAMP Server. Let's try this out. On, on your computers, just minimize the windows out of the way, and then double click on the WAMP server icon. Now, you don't get any feedback, perhaps, that says, Welcome to WAMP. You might not really get any. You might get like a quick little flash, but to confirm that it's, that it's working, on the bottom right corner, you might see a little green W, or it might be hidden inside of that little triangle. See, there's a triangle there and I see a little green W. If you double click that, don't do it 10 times because nothing happened, just double click it once. And if you see it here, or in the triangle, little green W, it's working. This is uh, simplifying the steps right here about I downloaded it, I installed it, I double clicked it. Next step here, access this link in your web browser. If your WAMP is running, go back to your web browser and go to this address http colon slash slash localhost not dot com or dot org or anything like that give it a try go to your web browser type that address you have to type exactly http colon slash slash and you're supposed to get something that looks like this now I would recommend uh, on our computers if you if you're you know you're obviously not using your computer so on our computers I'm talking about my computer at right here I can't troubleshoot your computer at the moment so um, when you go here to the address localhost you should see something that looks like this, this is the the WAMP server control panel Thank you. 
So this is the local host control panel. Create a database for your site using PHP my admin. There's a link down here on the bottom left. I'll show it in a moment. But it says PHP my admin. Click on that PHP my admin tool at the bottom over here. So this is a this is an administrative screen about um, setting up and working with databases, and uh, the default here is the username root with no password. Don't type anything under password and just click go. So I'll note it over here uh, using PHP my admin. Click it. Log in with root. Or it's all lowercase root and no password. Type nothing. Click go. So root and then empty and then go. So WordPress is software that runs on top of a database. A database is just uh, a place where all of the details of your site are stored. It's data based somewhere. It's, it's stored. So this tool, the software here, allows you to create databases. And then we're going to install WordPress on top of it. So at the top, over here, we have a button that says Databases. I click on this I'm about to create a database I can call it whatever I want here and then click create let's call this my site uh, to keep it simple let's keep it all lowercase no spaces or special characters just my site lowercase no space in between those words, no space. And then click Create. If it worked on the left side, it should show you you've got a brand new database called My Site. Okay, so here, log in to root, click go, at top, click databases, in the box, type a name for your database, click create. Now, let me stop here, we're, we're halfway. Um, this is completely easy to do when you buy your service at GoDaddy or Bluehost or whatever. They have their one-click installation. That's what one of the things you're paying for, the ease of setting all of this up. Here, obviously, uh, we're doing it for free. Uh, we're doing it as a sort of like learning experience. And it's a lot of steps. It's a little technical. I, I'll break to help people in a moment. Um, but when you set this up with a real provider it's a lot it's a lot easier to set up so once I've got a database once it says on the left here I created a database there's the name of it my site I have to install WordPress well WordPress this is also I would um, download it from wordpress.org the wordpress.org website is the place that you download WordPress so you can use it at home. Well, if I'm setting this up on Bluehost or HostMonster or whatever, I purchase that provider, they have a button that says install WordPress, and I click it and it does it. I don't have to do these extra steps. But for us here to create this virtual website, I have to do these steps. Now, on, the, on your computers, I've already downloaded that and it's ready to get used. We just have to put it in the right place. So. 
the right place is right here. If you minimize all of these windows, you open up computer icon at the top left. Double click computer, top left. And then double click local disk on the C drive right there, the main hard drive of this computer, of your computer. Double click local disk. I've downloaded the WordPress folder. It's alphabetical. I've downloaded the WordPress software. And we need to install that WordPress software into the database that we just created. So we're going to right click to copy. We're going to copy the software, copy, right click copy. And you see there's another folder in here called WAMP, WAMP64. You're going to double click that WAMP folder to get into it. And you're going to see this www folder. Double click www. And then here in this folder, in an empty spot, you can right click and paste. So if you do this at home and you download it, it'll probably download to your desktop or your download folder. It'll download somewhere. You have to then copy that into this folder. It's going to be on your C drive in the WAMP folder, in the WW folder. You're going to paste your WordPress software in there. And then I'll put it in the notes. So download it from WordPress, copy the folder into on the C drive in the WAMP64 folder in the WW folder. Access the installer, HTTP localhost slash WordPress. Again, there's no .com there, but I just put the WordPress software into WAMP folder, which is this virtual web server. I copied the WordPress software into there. So on my web browser, I have to type the address HTTP colon slash slash localhost slash WordPress. So back on my web browser. Don't forget the HTTP part. And there's going to be a, a wizard that walks you through the next part of the setup. This part that we were doing a moment ago is like the very technical, like secret stuff. Once we've completed this process here, then you will see what I had a moment ago. You will see a WordPress screen with nice buttons to click on and things to actually do. But then this little bit of technical part is, is some of the setup to do if you don't go through Bluehost or GoDaddy, etc., which they'll do it for you. So it, honestly, it is a little technical, it is a little difficult, especially if you've never done some of these things here. But for free, to start to be able to use WordPress right away, I think this is very good. Th those providers, they might, they might help you out, yes. They... Um, if you normally if you're getting Bluehost or whatever and you log into Bluehost there'll be a button that says install WordPress and it'll it'll do it right now we're doing this because we don't have a provider we're doing it off of our computer so it's a lot more steps but when you have the real providers they 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 do this a lot easier so I'm gonna set a few things the language of my website in my case will be English so I'll leave that and continue <coughs> It's saying here, in order for this to be installed, you need the name of a database. We created a, it a moment ago. 
we need the username and password to log into the database. I mentioned it a moment ago. I'll mention it again. And then the host and the prefix. And I'll show you that in a moment. So I'll say, great, let's go. What is the name of the database we created five minutes ago? My site. If you called it anything else, type what you typed there. Obviously, I didn't see what you typed. But if you listened to me, that's what we created. When we were about to log in to create the database, what did I say to log in with? Roots and a blank nothing password. Database host and table prefix, just leave those alone. But obviously here, we're running this website off of this computer, which is localhost. If it were on the real internet, that would be victorsbakery.com. And table prefix, just don't worry about that. And again, there's a lot that could go wrong. No problem. We're going to do a little bit of help in a moment. But here's the process so far. OK, access the installer here. Follow the steps. And then we've got database, whatever is the name of the one you created above. User is root, lowercase. Password is empty or nothing. And then I go next. Or submit. So if things are good so far, I will run. If they're not quite working, I'll help in a moment. Run install. And that says, OK, welcome. You're about to create your, your, your site. What is the name of your site? What's the username you want to make up to log in? What's the password you want to use? What's the email for this? Do you want the search engines to find you or not? Well, the site name, you can do whatever you want here, but I'll call it Victor's Amazing Bakery. Username, Victor, password, cats. Whoops, you saw my password. But um, <laughs> it can be anything you want. It'll tell you there if it's a good password or not. And the, the longer the password, the stronger, so people don't break in. But just for the purposes of the lecture, I'll just put a, a terrible password. And I have to confirm that it's pretty bad. email here again as just like a learning process I don't really have an email called Victor at Victor.com uh, but uh, it will let me fill out whatever right here to proceed and this about the search engines you want the search engine to find you or not this doesn't even matter it's not on the real internet this is on my computer so it doesn't matter what you put here but um, if this were your real website on the real internet I would not want the search engines to avoid me so I would leave that off. Install. Seems to have worked, so I'll log in. So create a WordPress user. That's what I did there. And then you use WordPress. So now. Um, visible to shoppers. The link is localhost slash WordPress. Visible to the admins. Is this link right here? So if you want to look at your site as if a shopper were visiting it on your web browser, you, you go to the address localhost slash WordPress. But then if you want to log into the dashboard to make changes and do stuff, it's the same address and then slash wp-admin. That's this screen here that appears for me to log in with the username or email and password I just made up. 
Victor Katz. And now I have this dashboard like I was showing you a moment ago. So I have this virtual WordPress. It's not on the real internet. I have all of the features of it. Like I showed earlier, posts and pages and plugins. <coughs> and when you've got this when you've got this WAMP server software running, you can access this virtual server. Yes. Where did you get that? Like I said earlier, you just search for it online, and then you're going to find the website for you to download it. Okay, I typed it up when I installed it. I got error messages. Just, just when it says source. source. Yeah, that's a different question. You said, where do you get it? That's one question. But it's not working for you on your machine? That's a different question. So during the breaks, we might, during the lab time, we can kind of see what's going on with your system. Okay. So when you've got this WAMP server software running, you have this virtual uh, account that you can play with, just like if it was a, on a real uh, server like uh, GoDaddy and so forth. So, yes, it was very technical. Will you be able to do it when you get home? Maybe, hopefully, if you follow the video. Um, hopefully, going through the video can help you a little bit. If not, this is one of the big reasons about getting one of these provider accounts, GoDaddy, Bluehost, etc. I obviously do not ask you in class, go buy this thing because it's dozens of dollars. These classes are free. I'm not going to ask you to buy anything. The alternative is to use something like WAMP um, to do this for free, but you saw it was a little bit of a setup. Right now I've been talking for 21 minutes and it seemed like it worked for, for some of us. Raise your hand if it, if it worked. Who, who got to the dashboard? Okay, that, that's kind of cool. A little bit more than half. If it didn't quite work, that's okay. I'm going to end the lecture in a moment to have some lab time if people need one-on-one -on -one help. But I wanted to show you on day one here that I went through various screens of WordPress. I showed you like a very technical way to set up your own WordPress for free at home. When we come back next time, we'll do this again together just so we can have something to do together. And then we'll go back to using WooCommerce and such and add products and get a little more advanced and see what, what we can learn in, on, on the last day. Um, but if it worked, that's great. We're going to have some time for you to play with it if you want from now until 9.30 until the end of the class. When we come back next time, we'll continue. General questions on things we talked about today? Individual help, I'll do that in a moment, but general questions at the moment? Okay, so when we come back on Thursday, we'll we'll keep moving forward. Most likely not, because you're going to have this all set up on your real domain. Yes. Okay.